hey what is up guys this is awesome in my previous video i just demonstrated this project how you can control arduino graphically using python now i'm going to make this project from scratch so guys let's start coding okay first of all i'm uh, going to open a new folder i already created a pi file here okay now i'm you i'm using key framework for graphical user interface you can use kinter or wx python or whatever you want uh, i like kiwi so i'm using kiwi so okay first of all i'm going to import in the app class from kvmd so from kvmd.app import md app class okay now i'm going to import screen from kv.uix from kv.uix dot screen manager import screen okay uh, now i'm going to import our builder module from kv.lang from kv.lang import builder okay now i'm going to create a class function okay in this class we are going to describe every function that our arduino is going to handle so uh, and this and this class is going to inherit from our screen class okay now i am leaving this class empty because i don't want to add any function right now i will add soon so I am passing this class now I'm going to create our main class here and this class is going to inherit from MD app class now I'm going to declare a function and build and this is built-in function of KV so uh, basically this function is gonna build all kinds of widgets and functions that you are going to add in your app okay now i'm going to load a file using builder module builder dot load file uh, what will be our file our file will be you know, layout dot layout dot kb okay now i'm going to return our um, function class that we declared earlier and i'm going to run uh, my main function okay but uh, we didn't add this layout file so I'm going to create a new file named layout.kb let me check the spelling layout.layout.kb okay everything's right now uh, I'm going to uh, let me split this function uh, split this file okay that's look good okay uh, first of all I'm going to call our function in our kb file so let me call our function class and this will be in a bracket okay function now i'm going to add two button one is a play button and one is an or well, one is a play button and one is an off button okay so i'm going to add two button and realize button let me add the text the text will be play and after that i'm going to set the position pause hint let's say center x as 0.5 and center x oh sorry guys center y at 0.45 okay now i'm going to add another button which will be our off button let me copy this one and paste it here okay this will be off button and a little bit bottom a little bit down to our play button okay 
let me run our let me uh, save this file first and run this file okay now we can see these two buttons are just appeared here okay but we want play button here and the off button should be below of play button uh, we should declare it it should be high five and the second one should be for five okay let me save this file and rerun my program again boom it's that looks great okay but the case is we didn't add any kind of arduino functions i'm going to add the arduino functions from here so i'm using pyfarmata for handle arduino so i'm going to import arduino class from pyfarmata so from pyfarmata import arduino now i am going to declare the port where my arduino arduino is connected okay my port number is dev slash tty slash fcm zero okay uh, if you don't know what is the port number just simply go to your arduino ide okay Okay, just go to tools and then go to port. You can find your port here. I'm using Linux, so in Linux you will find your port something like this, and in Windows uh, you may find different one, or in Mac uh, you may find another one. Okay, so guys, I'm going to add our. Uh, so I'm going to add, declare a variable called port. And in this board variable, I'm going to call our Arduino class, and then I'm going to bind this Arduino class to our port. Okay. Now our Arduino is just connected to the port right now. Now I'm going to declare the pin. Uh, I'm going to declare the pin as 10. This will be our digital pin. Okay. Now I think everything is okay. I'm going to add. Uh, add some function in our function class first of all I am going to add the play function what will our play function do our play function will simply turn on the LED okay so let me call a function name play LED sorry guys play LED okay so now i'm going to call this board variable sorry guys my bad this board variable board dot now i'm going to call the digital module uh, digital method and declare our pin now i'm going to write in this pin what i'm going to write i'm going to write uh see you should uh, I'm going to write signal one. That means uh, the value in Arduino programming. This uh, in Arduino programming, uh, one means high. That means I am going to turn on the LED. Um, okay. And in our next function, I'm going to uh, off the LED. Okay. Let me pass the self argument and same program <coughs> in before. Same program. Now I'm going to off this LED in this function. So for uh, off this LED, I'm going to write value 0. Okay. 1 means high and 0 means low. Now if we run our program and click play and off button as nothing should happen because we didn't add any function in our buttons right uh, so i'm going to add functions here okay now 
these functions will be called after the button released okay on release i don't know how spelling was but uh it will be root dot this is our root class okay this is our root class now uh, it will be root dot play LED. okay now on release that will be root dot of le okay let me check everything is okay looking like everything is okay so for uh, now we are going to make our arduino pi parameter now we are going to make our arduino board pi parameter compatible or python compatible so make your arduino board python compatible you must go to arduino ide and go to you go to example sorry guys my bad go to example and after that go to formata and open up the standard formata sketch something opens up <laughs> lots of codes there nothing to explain just simply upload it okay uploading okay we can see uploading is just done now this is our diagram a simple led blinking diagram everyone should know so guys let me run my program first of all i'm going to save and then i'm going to run okay oh sorry guys i didn't uh my bad i declared the port number i declared the port number which is wrong let me correct this and save this file and rerun my program again okay uh, let me turn on my camera i forgot terminal window I'm going to use my phone okay my phone is just turned on Where are our window okay let me open my let me resize this window okay and open up my camera I don't know how you are how you can do this okay. if I press the play button okay we can see our LEDs just turned on and if I if I press the off button, it goes off. Right? Keep watching. Goodbye.